Hey boys, welcome back to some NRL Supercoach round 17 discussions and uh, I thought I, I thought I'd make a quick well another another little video in the lead up here obviously the first game's tonight but uh, there has been some ma <laughs> there's been some massive massive chaos carnage in the lead up to this this buy round and I've got to say it is beautiful <laughs> I can't I can't deny that it's it's worked out pretty favorable for, for myself because you know and that's the that's the that's the caveat to to going hard in a, in a buy round is that you know if a couple of those players that you brought in for the buy get ruled out then you're sort of in a in a spot of bother now granted most of the guys that have been ruled out are probably you know they're keepers anyway so it's not you know you're not going to be absolutely spewing if you bought him in a couple of weeks ago but it is you know it's nice for the people like myself who <laughs> who didn't go as hard in this buy and uh and a couple of those guys are not going to hurt me as much so the first one to talk about nico hines is gone <laughs> he has covid which you might be thinking well that's not good for you it's it's beautiful i'm not gonna lie it's fantastic because one everybody has him Everybody in the top, probably 50%, I would say very, very few don't have Nico Hines. So it doesn't actually affect anyone. The only issue with him is that it was going to be such a tough call. Who do you vice captain, Pappenhausen or Nico Hines? I honestly, I don't know. I honestly don't know who I was going to do. I, pro I probably would have gone Pappy just because he's got a better ceiling and... The storm coming off a, a pretty god awful game, even though Papenhausen still fucking <laughs> the last ten minutes he killed it. But the storm were awful. Now they're missing some big players, but you know they're going to fire up for this game. And the the sharks, you know, they're they're a fickle team. Hines would still score well, you would think, and against his old club, he would definitely want to you know put his best foot forward. But it was going to be a tough call. It was going to be a real tough call, and honestly, it would have it would have made or broken your round this week. I'm I'm calling it now. Like if if people went a pod, I don't even know would Hines have been a pod vice captain. I think he would have been. I th I think most people would have gone Papi. So the people that went Hines, it it could have been a huge swing or it could have been a huge detriment because <laughs> if he goes like 50, 60, and Papi gets 100 plus, then you're in big strife so that makes it just so nice and simple it i just like it because it doesn't you know i've, I've talked about this before that the captaincy is just so big in supercoach i don't like it it's just such a big swing either way and uh i i hope they change it in the future just you know just to make it not the the b end end all you know but uh yeah it means puppy is just the the straight vice c which is nice now the other big one there's a couple uh ryan madison who i was like like i said in the in the last video at the end of the video i completely forgot about madison i i made my plans and then i was like you know what i was thinking of players who i was thinking of or i was i was going to get in and then it, it clicked ryan madison <laughs> he was the guy i was most like trying to get in for a keeper in the back row probably the best forward for buy coverage um but i even said in that video you know coming off a rib injury where he missed a week it was it was definitely going to be another tough little 50 50 do i go madison or do i go mulatalo or or someone else or another keeper potentially but um it was going to be a tough decision and uh and madison has not uh, has not been able to back up this week again. So, again, it's made the decision very very simple for me. Um, so yeah, Mulatalo. At the moment, I'm going Mulatalo. So, honestly, the trades. I guess the other. Who else is out? Alex Johnston. Obviously, Campbell Graham. We knew was was out, which again is is annoying for me, but it is what it is. And then Alex Johnston. I don't think he's ruled out yet, but he's definitely got. He's got an injury concern. His his thigh, I think it was. I know he had it heavily strapped last game in the in the second half. Um, I'm I'm honestly I'm praying that he gets rested. Like, come on, Rabbitohs, you're taking on the Knights. They're trash. You got Mitchell back. Just just rest Johnston. It'll be right. Just plug someone else there for a week. <laughs> oh, I really I really want them to rest Johnston, dude. It would be beautiful because you know Johnston's one of those guys that could really 
really hurt not having him for this buy. You know, he's scored so many damn tries. Um, it's ridiculous. Uh, and then anyone, anyone else? Who else was injured? Um, I think that was that was pretty much it, right? Oh, actually, I, I guess, well, the Sharks, I think it was only Rudolph and, and Hines that confirmed had COVID. I, I know there was talks that there was potentially more players. So I guess, I guess keep an eye um, just in case there's others. Um, you know, if potentially Militalo or or McKinnis for me, potentially. Um, but I think that was, that was pretty much it. So my trades, like I did the, the previous video, Heinz, what am I talking about? Not Heinz, Mulatalo comes in. Um, we brought in the cheapy uh, Pole and who was the other one? Am I going crazy? Who was my third trade? Oh, Pappenhausen, <laughs> of course. Of course, Pappenhausen came in. So there's not too much else now I really need to think about. I know a few people have been... I'm going to have a look at some other... There's a couple of cheapies that have popped up. Um, there are a couple of cheapies. And, it, you know, Isaiah Tass as well. Like, honestly, I could... <laughs> part of me is like... I'm not going to lie. Part of me is somewhat tempted, instead of going Mulatalo to go because honestly Molotalo I think is is potentially a keeper but without Hines I, I'm just a bit concerned with their point scoring ability he's still got really good base stats but I've got to be honest I'm, I'm half tempted to go let's have a look at him Isaiah Tars he probably how much he'd probably be like over 300k now wouldn't he so he's not going to be a cheapie but it saves me so much cash he could become like a good little nuff. Um, or if he stays in the team, he could turn into like a, you know, a quality, um, a very quality potential backup center wing option because he, he definitely has, um, he definitely has the scoring ability. Um, let's just, let's just have a look. He's probably like, yeah. Any other? Well, let's let's have a look at the back. So yeah, um, low. I mean, yeah, yeah. like I said before, Lomax also had my interest, but no. I mean, Cor honestly, Corios is averaging sixty this year, which is which is pretty crazy. Um, Sione Katoa, um, Panasini. For a lot of people that hold Panasini, he's still a good little play this week. Unfortunately, <laughs> hopefully the Eels turn up. I feel like this is the week where the Eels will turn up and and play good. Um. Surely they can't play like they did last week. Uh, let's go down. He must be like... I mean, Tane Milne's probably going to come back into the team, but not worth it in my opinion. How... How goddamn... Bradman Best also back. You know, he can go on runs, but the, the Knights just... The Knights just aren't looking good enough. Edric Lee, the big one, 72, five tries... Oh Jesus, dude! What a what a performance by the big boy. Um, why do I go total points? I'm a damn fool. I didn't mean to go total points. Uh, how? Jeez, dang, Gagai's dropped a lot as well. He was up, he was up at 600k. I mean, I guess he he was playing in that bunnies backline last year, which which makes sense. Um. I should just go and sort by teams, you know, I'm a damn fool. But I, I also wanted to look at other other potential options. Yeah, there he is, Zayatas. Yeah, he's up to he's just a tick over three hundred K, which is I, I mean again, like he's got some class. like he I cannot believe he hasn't been cementing a spot in this team. Like he is a gun. I mean the bunnies poached him from the Broncos, which I was upset about. And they just have not used him. I don't get it. <laughs> like like I don't I don't understand. Like he got forty How many what the hell? Oh sorry. <laughs> the first game he played he only he must have come off the bench, I guess, scored a try or something. Um eighty minutes games, he got eighty four only twenty four against the Broncos, which is concerning. But I mean that that's you know, that that's a backline player potential. And then seventy one. <sighs> I don't really know what I was looking for, but I've got to be honest, I'm very tempted. I'm very, very tempted because the bunnies are starting to click. And if he's on that, 
He was on the left-hand side because, yeah, Campbell Graham switched with him. Obviously, Isaiah Tass is a left-handed player, left-side player. I've got to be... I'm very tempted to go Tass. I have missed the jump from his cheapy status, but, like, I'm saving 300k instead of Mulatalo. He potentially can score as much... Well, he, he can't score as much as Mulatalo. He hasn't had, he doesn't have the ceiling, but he's got he's got some big scores in him. Oh man, do I need the cash though? Maybe, maybe. Let's also let's have a look at some other players. Um, but let's actually let's, let's look at my team because what are my plans going forward? I do need the cash. I got to be honest because McInnes, I probably want to trade up to Cook ideally who is going to be expensive. Um, and then Ezra Mam, we want to swing Hines up to halfback and get Ezra for Tedesco. That's going to cost a lot as well. So honestly, dude, like look at my back line. I've got Garrick, May, Manu, all absolute starters. Like they're, they're three starters every day of the week. And then I've got Swali, Sivo, also, like, you could start them any any week, really. I know, I know Sivo shit the bed, but... And Swali didn't do that great, but that's still a really good back, uh, back line. So, do I need Molotalo? You know, this week, are they, are they going to... <laughs> without Nico Hines, I'm just... Oh, it's got me... It's, I, I honest, I actually think I'm going to do that. I actually think... I'm going to end up doing that because, I mean, the Bunnies are also taking on the Knights. They don't have their forward pack, but they they still have Mitchell, Cody Walker. They got the attack in them. And with Mitchell back, if 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 Tars continues on that left-hand side, like, he could he could get some big points and, and be a still 300k. I mean, I did this with Tui Pilotu, right? Like, Tui Pilotu, he was up near 280, I think, when I picked him up. he I missed his initial rise, but... I picked him up and he killed it for me. So I think I think task potentially is similar. I I like it. I I honestly like that quite a bit. Because what Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm actually going to do that. But if we look I I know I'm I'm not going to do it. I know a few people are looking at Sean Lane now for the Eels. I was going to look at him and then a couple other cheapy options but I, I like the task pickup i gotta be honest he just looks good as well very 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 good play in my opinion um second row sort by highest price how much is lane because he's been killing it yeah he's over 600k um he's over three percent i i don't think a lot of people are but I, i've definitely seen quite a few people going sean lane i don't think i'm gonna do it because he's <laughs> He's done good work for me in the past years, but he definitely, like, <laughs> look at these, dude, I, you cannot, how are people going lane, man, 47, 46, 35, 88, obviously there'd be a try, try assist, whatever, 33, I mean, he did play less minutes, 51, 41, and now he's gone on a run, which is nice, but lane goes on runs, and then he'll just stop, so I... I, I don't mind it as a pod play, but I, I don't know. You're paying 600k for a guy that I do not think is a keeper. If if it was um, Ryan Madison, yeah, I can understand that. I mean, he's 70k more, but like Madison is a keeper. You know, Tarpany is not playing this week, but also a bit more expensive. He's a keeper. I just don't. I don't particularly like the lane pickup. You know, if he gets a try this week. He'll get 80 points, so, you know, you'll be laughing, but if he doesn't, he gets 50. He gets 40-50. He doesn't have great base stats, so he relies heavily on uh, on the attack, which it, it it does come. I mean, Dylan Brown on his side has been doing some great work, but yeah, I I don't know. I can't, I can't bring myself to do it. And then if we look at um, the cheapies, I know... The Broncos youngster, Hosking, comes in. Um, yeah, Hosking comes in. Uh, apparently, no one owns him. <laughs> I thought I thought people would have picked him up. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't get 
I wouldn't get Hosking. I mean, you know, if if you if you need to nuff out in the second row, I think Hosking could be good. Uh, Trent Peoples, did, did he get named? Did he get named? I'm actually let's have a look. Did he get? Uh, he did he get a bench spot? Surely he did, right? With the amount of um, Rabbitoh forwards out, he looked pretty good in his uh, in the couple of games he played. Is he on the... No, he's not on the bench. Also, Saluka Fafida is out of the 17. Okay, so I was I was half... To... Look at the... <laughs> Dude, I'm looking at the Rabbitohs uh, team on my phone. Their bench. Is that right? Oh, Jed Cartwright. Okay, I'm looking now. Jed Cartwright has got the second row spot. Um... <laughs> Do I go? Do I nuff out one of my my second rowers? Nah, I've already got. I've already got goddamn. Um, what's his name? Ben Trebojevic nuffing out the second row. So I probably can't afford to to do that. But Jed Cartwright is starting. Um, their bench is Cody Nikarima, Blake Taff, Michael Cheekham, and David Moali. So <laughs> the front row, like the front row, is. Like, Burge is a knock... What is this forward pack, man? Like, I know they're missing a lot of forwards, but how have they not... How have they not put Saluka Fafida straight in? I'm, I'm surprised. I'm not a huge fan, but, like... Like, yeah, it's just weird. Like, Burge is not going to play huge minutes. Total looking play pretty big minutes. Havili... I guess that's why they got Nikarima and Taff, but... Yeah, that's just... Yeah. I mean, they're missing a lot of forwards. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I don't know where their minutes are going to go. <laughs> and even Mark Nichols at 13, like, I, he's not he's not a huge minute player, but well, it'll be an interesting game. I wouldn't be surprised if the if the Knights win this, honestly, because they got a they got a good forward pack. They they should definitely run over the top of that uh that Rabbitohs pack, but we'll see. Um but that's enough of that. So, yeah, there, there's some good cheapies to pick up if you're um if you're looking to nuff for a week. I I think um well, actually, let's have a look. I think I think Jed Cartwright is actually a bit more expensive uh, as a as enough potentially. Uh, let's go to RF. Uh, I think he's not bottom dollar price, which is not necessarily bad. But yeah, he's two hundred five k, which is not it's not bad. Like it's still pretty cheap. Like you know, if you need the extra twenty k, then Maybe you don't go in, but you know he's starting in the back row, which is which is very handy. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the uh, well, that's the uh, that's all the cheapies, I guess. But yeah, I think I'm I think I'm sticking with going Pole instead of Pangai because, like I said, I needed to nuff Pangai Junior. Um, just because I I had too much cash in the front row. I mean Papali. Tamalolo and King. That's all I need. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I do want to get Tarpany at some point. <laughs> I'd probably I'd probably rather pick him up in the in the back row, honestly, because my front row is is good. So if I can, you know, and that's why I need the cash because I want to get Tarpany, Tedesco, and Cook. They're sort of the three guys that I'm that I'm really gonna try to get in the in the run home. So honestly, Molotalo instead instead of or Tass instead of Mulatalo. I actually think that's a that's a good uh, that's the good play. It might hurt me potentially this week. I mean Mulatalo I, I can't see him getting a hundred, but you know, if he gets like eighty and Tars gets like thirty, yeah, that's a that's a fifty point swing. Not great, but I think for the long run, I think it's a it's a better decision. So I th I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go Tars instead of Mulatalo. And you know I think Tars potentially could could get seventy again. They take on the Knights for God's sakes, and uh, they're a t like I just said the Knights should beat them, but <laughs> I think the Knights defensively are, are still a bit weak out wide. So yeah, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do. It'll leave me with four hundred sixty k then, which is still I I'll still need a little bit of cash generation, but. Um, we could we could definitely do some good stuff in in trying to get the guns back or the you know the guys that I want. So I I, th I feel pretty good about that honestly. 
And like I said, it definitely, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's nice that, that Madison and, um, uh, what's his name, even Hines, it, it, it's nice that they're out, you know, potentially Johnston might be out. So, yeah, there's some, there's some good stuff. Um, I'm not going to lie for myself. But uh, yeah, that, that'll do it for, for the little preview for round 17. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Supercoach action. I'll see you guys in the next one.